Stop at zero minus one minute. So we are into the final 60 seconds. Give us a chance to say hello to our friends at SES in Luxembourg, our friends at Yassat Abu Dhabi, to the Airbus Defense and Space Teams in Toulouse, to the orbital teams in Virginia, to our industrial partners, ESA and Kness, and to all of you following on the internet. We hope you're enjoying it. If you're not settled in, pull up a chair and enjoy. We're gonna cut away, let you listen to the DDO, and he'll f call out the final seconds. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. Allumage au Tavulcan. Allumage EAP, top décollage. The DDO says all is normal, and you saw at 19.20 local time, and right on time, Ariane 5 began her mission, lifting off from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire, heading into the clouds with two new satellites. La propulsion est nominale. The two boosters are providing 90, that's 90% of our thrust right now, propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. 773... 773 tons at liftoff. And to get that sort of mass off the ground, you need a lot of push, and push we have. She's burning five tons of fuel per second, two and a half tons per second in each booster. And the core stage is burning another 300 kilos of fuel per second. Fine shots of Ariane 5 rising into the sky. She looks just like a comet. Ariane 5 now following the program in the onboard computer, as the DDO says, all is normal on board, which gives the orders, including stage separations, which we'll soon see. We're in the first of four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn, so you can follow Arian as she, as she heads east across the Atlantic. Right now, the first flight phase, the single first stage engine and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will each consume their 240 tons. In just over two minutes, in about 15 seconds, they will be extinguished, and you'll hear that from the DDO. This first flight phase using both cryogenics, very cold fuel, and storable propellant. Cryogenic propulsion offering certain advantages, reignitable, more precise performance. And we move to the animation. In just about two seconds, you'll see at the booster separation. Separations, étages, accélération à poudre. Confirmed by the DDO. They will fall 500 kilometers from the shore in a protected area. A nice shot of it there on the onboard camera. There's another booster on the uh, port side, of course, uh, out of camera range. On the bottom of your screen, on the left, our altitude, on the right, our speed. Speed we need for satellite separation, roughly nine kilometers per second. That's 9,000 kilometers an hour. You see where we are, just over two kilometers an hour. We have a ways to go. So keep your eyes on the numbers. And when we near the region of eight, nine kilometers per second, Le pilotage est calme. you know we will be getting close to separation. We're getting close to separation of the fairing, which is next up. That's the pointed nose cone on the right of the composite. You can see the logos on the outside of the fairing placed there by the customers. That's something of a tradition. There's separation on top. Bagage de la coiffe. Confirmed by the DDO. And on the onboard camera, you see there's another half which falls away again out of camera range on the uh, on the starboard side. 